Yo, what is going on, my good people? It is your boy Mac back with another statue unboxing interview. We have a little box here from Sideshow, as you can see, a little different from our huge boxes that we normally do on this channel. Uh, this is another DC Direct Batman black and white statue. This is the Jim Lee version. So I'm really excited to get this thing popped open. Make sure you go check out the video that I posted before on the Todd McFarlane version. I'll post a link up for that so you guys can go check that out. So first things first, make sure you guys like this video, hit that subscribe button if you like what you see, and make sure you have that bell notification tag so that way you know when I'm dropping new content. I've also got a giveaway going on right now, so make sure you guys go jump to that video after this video is done and follow the video details to enter into that contest. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into this little box and check out this little statue. Let's go ahead and grab our trusty knife hole, Mac Blizzy. All right, guys, I'm gonna crack this open. There's our art box here, DC Direct, from the source, Batman version three of the Jim Lee Batman black and white. Little side shot, little back shot there with the rest of the statues on there. And the side, it's a pretty cool picture there. So let me know what you guys think about these little statues here. Um, in the comment section below. I think that these things are a great value when you really think about it. They're small in size, they don't really cost that much. Easy to store and to uh, display. Just all out, just interested to know if you guys are into collecting these or just what you guys think about them in general. So we have the statue here. And the base for the statue. This is pretty cool. And it is 803 out of 5,000. Let's go ahead and grab Batman figure and that is pretty cool guys I like how the cape drapes over half the side of his body it's a very cool looking piece pretty nice detail okay so let's go ahead and get him keyed onto this little base here there's a little keyhole there and he's got a peg here on his right foot it slides in like this and there you go you have it he's pretty sturdy on here it does move around a little bit but he's not going anywhere there's no very little gaps here on the cape to the base here but yeah this is a very cool looking piece but I definitely have to hold it I think to keep it from having the base come out well I guess not but as you guys can see there, it is a little bit uh, loose. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull him off the base here. Um, I do need to be a little careful though, because by taking him in and out, you can scratch up the emblem here. So just be careful with putting him in or taking him off the base and everything. So what I just wanted to get just a little bit closer so we can go over like this anatomy sculpt and everything. So even for like, a you know, this statue, it was about 95 bucks. It's not, of course, the level of like a Prime One Studio statue or even a Sideshow statue, uh, but it is still very cool. You guys can see in there like the obliques here on the side, his little chest and his abdominals right here. And you can see that it's still got even pretty cool detail and like black shading here on his thighs or his quads there. And his boots and everything look pretty cool. And the cape has like a, kind of like the, the Todd McFarlane has like a little bit of like a white kind of, or gray streaks going down like the folds here in the cape. 
uh, but they're not as pronounced but uh, it's still a very cool sculpt here on the cape and everything I think the gloves are done very well also they're sharp so it's not like you would look at this and think that maybe it was potentially plastic but that's not the case his belt uh, buckle here and all his tactical little um, pouches and everything are pretty cool and he even has a little bit of black wash there as well and then his face is done pretty cool I think you can see all the definition on his face there pretty cool scowl and even the little indentations here on the front part of the cow here so very cool I got a little bit of glitter on mine here we'll just leave that there you see it <laughs> but yeah very cool little piece definitely glad to have it in the collection so I'm gonna go ahead and grab down the Todd McFarlane version so you guys can see that side by side so here's the recent unboxing and review that I did on the Todd McFarlane version they are both 110 scale but you can see that the Todd McFarlane one is quite a bit bigger due to the cape and all but still it matches the line very well the bases are like the same uh, flow going on even though the Todd McFarlane one does not detach from the base it's all one piece but still very cool so like I stated earlier on in the video, I have an unboxing review on this statue up on the channel as well. Also post a link down below so you guys can go check that out if you haven't seen it yet. All right guys, so I'm getting close to wrapping up this video. Let me know what you think about these little statues here in the comment section below. Let me know which one you prefer. If you guys like the Jim Lee version or you guys like the Todd McFarlane one. So the best features of this statue are its size, its price, and of course it's designed off of Jim Lee artwork. I'll make sure to post a link in the description below so you guys can grab this from the Sideshow website if you guys like. Once again, hit me down in the comment section below. Let me know what you guys think about this piece and any other piece from the line. I'm going to go ahead and start wrapping up this video. Make sure you stay to the end. I'm going to get some up close and personal shots of the statue and you guys can roll out to the beats like I always do in the rest of my videos. Make sure you guys hit that like button. If this is your first time to the channel, please consider subscribing. I appreciate you guys and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.